Hello, and welcome to the IndieMind video review for the PC game Reflexio by Box Jellyfish Studios. Reflexio is a puzzle platformer hybrid with a simple objective. Basically, you need to run around each stage collecting the zippers in order to open a gate to the next stage. Sounds simple, right? Well, in order to do that, you're going to need to play around with the main mechanic of the game, which is the ability to reflect parts of the stage across different axes. The different points of reflection are located in different areas of the stage, and typically you can switch between the points at any time. Getting back to the objective, you have to do all this reflecting while navigating your character across pits, around spikes, and without accidentally reflecting a block on top of the space you're currently occupying. Your character is limited to basic left and right movement, and also a short jump. Learning to time your jumps in conjunction with altering the stage is definitely one of the trickier elements of the game to master, but it's also one of the most rewarding. Reflexio has a well-developed learning curve. The game basically starts you off in a tutorial mode explaining the controls and the puzzle mechanics, and you're slowly introduced to new rules changes like blocks that don't reflect or reflection points that you have to unlock as you go along. By the end of the game, you're dealing with some really, really clever puzzles that might have you scratching your head for a bit before you figure out what the twist is. The game's not without its faults, though. Some of the later puzzles I would consider tedious because you're actually counting blocks and spaces before you perform a reflection. You're doing this in order to make sure that you don't reflect a box on top of you. These stages are very few and far between and only really hamper the experience just for a short bit. The presentation of the game is also something that might turn some people off. It's very, very cutesy in everything from the background designs to the peppy music that loops over and over again. Even the character is a young koala in a diaper holding a magic umbrella. I found that after a couple of stages, I didn't even really notice these things. And I hope that more mature gamers don't just take one look at the game and decide not to give it a try because of the presentation. It would definitely be a missed opportunity. I ended up scoring the game 4 out of a possible 5 points, because the few detractors there were weren't enough to take away from the enjoyable experience I had solving most of the puzzles in the game. The platforming aspect can be a little tricky to learn, and jumping can even be a little finicky at times. But what we're left with is a game that combines two styles into one solid combination. I'd wholeheartedly recommend Reflexio to gamers who've enjoyed the Portal series and other games like it where you're combining a, a mixture of platforming, timing, and some creative problem solving. Box Jellyfish Studios has provided a demo on their website, reflexiogame.com, all one word. And the full release is selling for $4.99 on their website through Asura and Indie City. So go check it out now. Thanks for watching our video review of Reflexio, and be sure to check out theindiemind.com for all your indie games coverage.